Christmas will never be the same. <laughs> twerk the Santa, twerk the Santa, twerk the Santa, and his little elf crew. Twerk the Santa, twerk the Santa, twerk the Santa, and his reindeer too. Twerk the Santa, twerk the Santa, twerk the Santa. You know what to do. Twerk the Santa, twerk the Santa, twerk the Santa. Just twerk the Santa. Uh. Welcome back, ho, 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 what? to another episode of Vlogmas, Vlogmas Day 15. This is a continuation of yesterday's Vlogmas, where I went through 70 items, not 70, because that's a lie, that's a, it was 35, it was half of the 70, things that I want for Christmas. Hopefully, Sugar Daddy Santa is li listening. I'll sit and talk with Sugar Daddy Santa if it means I can get, you know, some VR goggles in the front row at Beyonce. What you want, unk? So, girl, we're just going to continue the fun, but I do want to jog your memory. So, here is a compilation of random clips from the last video. A Crumbs and Doilies baking book i want to wear this and i would wear it every single day like it's my uniform i swear i swear i would apple tv ipad i don't even know which one this is child it's just simple look at recipes while i'm cooking like that who here in hell <laughs> <laughs> the cloud yeah i fart when i drink milk i fart when i eat butter i want a robot sweeper so santa what to do <laughs> this is why I don't leave the house. Dry toilet paper for 27 years. What? Don't be mad at me. You don't want walking around with dirty Marseille, France, not Marseille Martin. 16. No! Beyonce front row in Paris. If somebody stole my package, you know who you are. I'm calling the cops. Luke James. I want Luke James. That's what I want. That's a black king right there. Big old pot that costs a lot of money from West Elm. You will be dealt with. Period. Electric, self-driving toothbrush. She can have whatever she wants because that's my mama. Free haircuts for life. Imagine being in Survivor, like in it. Now that that's in your brain, let's continue with number 36. Number 36, I want the pressure vase by Tim Evans. Flower vase, but it looks like it's being crushed a little bit and it's made of metal. It's super cool, I just want it. Number 37 is this Yankees beret. It's so ghetto, I love it. Number 38 is a tattoo of a smiley face. It's so boring, basic, but iconic. I need it on the back of my arm right now put put that ink in me number 39 is a sony a7s3 uh, the, some of y'all know i think from watching my vlogs that you at least have gotten a glimpse of my techie side like the girl loves cameras the girl loves all kinds of gadgets to make a uh, production of videos just a little bit better the sony a7s3 is like next up on my list it's just these things are very expensive but that's why daddy santa's gonna buy everything for me on this list number 40 is the topicals eye patches topicals is that girl when it comes to skincare the eye patches look really cool Anything that Topicals makes, I'm going by, period. Give it to me! Number 41 are these Balenciaga shoes. Ooh. Not the ones that look like socks. Number 42 is the Anton um, sling bag from Loewe. I have been wanting a bag for so long because I carry everything in my hands or in my pockets. I just want a really nice bag. Leather classic and that I can wear like through the airport and as I'm running errands. Number 43 are these boots from Bottega Veneta. I, I love them. I can't not love them. 44 is the Samsung Freestyle Projector. This one is so sleek, it's small, it's so portable. I wanna be able to take it upstairs while I'm in my bed and project it onto my curtains upstairs and just watch movies in bed so I can go to sleep right after watching the movie. Oh my God, I gotta switch positions, Jeff. Let's see, um, number 45, I want the Hot Ones hot sauce. I want all of them. From that white man who be, who be making people's mouths burn. Hot. I want all of the sauces. All of it. And I want like a 50 piece boneless wings. No bone in. I know, I know. I know the girls like the bone in, but I don't need that. Say the bones for the dogs. <laughs> Number 46 is this Lark self-cleaning water bottle. Wow. Because ill. Ew. 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 How many times have I had a sore throat from drinking out of a water bottle that just don't ever get clean? No matter what you do, I could put that thing through an incinerator. And now you on fire. And it'll still come out dirty. This one is a self-cleaning one. It's a little expensive, but hey, seems worth it to me. To me! <laughs> Number 47 is something that's not practical because I don't have space for this, but the... I don't know how you, N-O-H-R-D. It's like gym equipment that's wooden. Uh -huh. I saw these at a hotel that I went to once. It's called the Citizen M. They have locations all over the world. And in their gymnasiums, they have this like wooden gym equipment. And it looks so sleek. A lot of it isn't all that practical. Like the benches don't even, they just don't move. You are not a tree. You can move. That's right. That's right. But they look cute. Number 48 is the Gillette Heated Razor. Whenever I did that commercial for Walmart, which by the way, if you haven't seen my commercial for Walmart, <laughs> I was in a commercial for Walmart. I always have like hair underneath here that I want to shave off. And I usually just take a razor, but I tried the Gillette heated razor on set. Hot. 
and it like smooth, just like butter. So I want that. I asked them if I could take it home and they were like, no. <laughs> Respectfully. Number 49 is the Sonos Arc. It's like a sound bar. I have one here. This is the Sonos Beam, but the Arc is just like a little more intense. And that's the one I originally wanted, but this one is cheaper. This one's like $200, whereas the Sonos Arc is probably like $5.99, $4.99. Psych! I'm definitely an audiophile, and Sonos is just the most accessible, approachable, sleek, fly, hot, and sexy, and beautiful, well designed sound system out there. To me! I don't know if you can see, but girl, it's back, whatever. It's back there. I just got this mini subwoofer, and oh my, I was watching white lotus yesterday and it just sounded so good i was like in a movie theater so imagine what it would sound like with the sonos arc next up number 50 apple air tags i want to look at where my bag is when it's on an airplane where is it at i want to look at it on the map and i feel like i just be losing stuff too much like i want to put one in, on my phone in my car girl where is my car all these things i think they would be like pretty useful for me number 51 is a hot air balloon ride experience in switzerland i think it was what was that show called since eight yes yeah, since eight it was one scene in that show of a whole bunch of air hot air balloons in switzerland it made it look so beautiful and so much fun oh my god i need to go i'm a little scared of hot air balloons but i i, I, I can make it work 52 is a trip to iceland to see the northern lights this is literally number one on my bucket list i have to see dumb dang on lights in the sky i can't not go find those things I can't believe that more people aren't like, oh my God, where are the Northern Lights? Like, why are we just sitting here in, in, in Portland? We over here in Scranton, Pennsylvania, when we could be in Iceland looking at pretty lights in the sky. Number 53 is a baking class. And this is kind of like to make up for a baking class that I booked for my partner and I, my ex and I. We never got to do it, but I really wanted to do it. And y'all know I love baking. And I want just like a professional baking class, because why not? Number 54, I want to go to Disneyland Tokyo. I went to Disneyland Paris last year, and it was just a beautiful experience from, well, the weather was like a little cold. It was cold. But going to Disney World in a different country where the language is different is so much fun. Number 55, I want the Fenty Beauty fragrance from Rihanna. Why it costs so much? I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to type in Fenty Beauty fragrance and it's going to be mm, $40 max. Nah. Why is it like $120, $150? Rihanna, why would you do this to me? Like, <laughs> Number 56 is the Kobe toiletry waterproof bag. My little toiletry bag that I take with me traveling is like not that good. Trash. I realized like you really need to invest in one that's good. Good. And the one from Kobe is waterproof. It's sleek. It's cute. You can't see through it, which I think there are also advantages to because the see-through one, I can see if all my stuff is kind of packed in there. But the one that is you can't see through, I like because when people come into my bathroom to clean it or whatever when I'm on vacation, they don't got to see all my stuff up in there. You know what I mean? My Sensodyne. Number 57 is also another product from Sonos. It's their record player. I have a record player here. Not that great. And the speakers aren't that great. The Sonos one will hook up to all of the speakers that I have via AirPlay or whatever, Bluetooth. That way I can get the sound and the texture of a vinyl. Oh, girl, I love the, the warmness that comes through the, the speakers when you're playing a vinyl. It's like adding salt to your food. It's like makes all of the flavor of the song pop more. Number 58 is the Black Diamond 8 liter hiking backpack. I don't have a hiking backpack and I want one that also has like a water what do they call them? Like a meal pack or like a camo pack or whatever it's called. Like a water pouch in your backpack and it has a thing that you can drink out of. I think that's actually just really practical for hiking. It's fall time now in Phoenix, which means it's just not blazing hot. So I am going to be hiking a lot more. I think that would be really great. There's also another backpack at number 59. It's from Clutter Sack. Um, it's a backpack as well from, for hiking. And this one is just cute. I just want it because it's cute. What? I can't want something because it's cute. Literally nobody said that. Dang. Number 60, also for hiking, are these reusable utensils from Otherwear and Snarker. Snark a texture. It's a big word for Elmo. Also for hiking and camping, 2023 for me is like getting back outdoors. I think I'm itching to go hiking because Vlogmas has just kept me on the inside. Oh. This is one man that I'm so sick of seeing. I don't want to sign up for Mint Mobile, Ryan. Number 61 is an away suitcase. My suitcase is busted up from the flow up. I need new suitcases. I want to make a good investment in a suitcase, not like one that's going to break every year and a half. Thinking that an away suitcase might be a great investment. So Santa, I want it at my doorstep December 24th. <laughs> Number 62 is a Bluetooth speaker for my shower. I realized that I do listen to music and podcasts when I'm in the shower. And I oftentimes will just put my phone in the shower. Dangerous. So maybe just like a Bluetooth speaker to put in my shower. 
shower that is like semi good quality sound. Number 63 is a self sharpening knife set. Let me see what you have. I'm no! The knives that I have aren't sharp and I, I don't know how to sharpen knives. You know how they give you that little stick that you can like sharpen knives on? I don't know what I'm doing with that. But I saw a set of knives at Bed Bath & Beyond that I think you just put your knife into this thing that's attached to it and it just sharpens it. Number 64 is a gift card to the MoMA gift shop. <laughs> Who would have thought? The MoMA has a gift shop and they sell furniture. They sell all kinds of stuff on there. And every single thing that I see, I'm like, oh my God, I want that. Yes, I want that. Oh yeah, I want that. Give it to me! But it's a little expensive. But um, I know that Santa has like a 401k. Number 65 is a skateboard from this company called Globe. It's a, it's a skateboarding company from, I think, Australia. I don't even want one to really use it. I want it to for decoration, I wanna hang it up on my wall. Number 66 on the list, I want some really cute coasters like this one from Area Wear. I don't have any coasters. I actually did have coasters, but my dog, Goose, who I no longer have, chewed them up. Yeah, chewed on it. He ate, he chewed. You ate that. Number 67, an electric kettle. This one from, from Stag that everybody who has like modern taste on Instagram or YouTube has this one. But there's also um, from, I think, Bodum it's called. There's a tea kettle that is electric. Recently, I realized that I've been needing to heat up water a lot. For tea or for whatever else, I think it would be useful on my countertop. Number 68 on the list is to go back to Greece and play in the Aegean Sea after eating rice and chicken. That's verbatim on the list. Ugh. The Aegean Sea. Ugh. Mm, mm, mm. If you go right now to my Instagram stories, one of the highlighted stories is my trip to Greece. Click and tap, girl, over to when I was in the Aegean Sea. The sun was setting, the ocean was warm, there was little like Grecian kids like playing with their parents in the back. But I had got my hair cut before I went on this European trip, so my hair was like this short. I didn't have to care about like what my hair was doing in the water because the washing goes were easy. That was the most perfect moment in my entire travel history, period. I wanna go back. Number 69 is the salt and pepper shakers, also from Hey Design. Just cute. I don't have any salt and pepper shakers right now, and I think that these would be useful. And number 70, the final thing on my list, is for everyone to get real. That's what it say. For everyone to get real on the internet and in real life, because I'm sick of y'all. And that's it. Um, that's it for my Christmas wish list. 70 things that I want for Christmas this year. I'll link most of these down below if you're interested in the order mentioned. And I will see you all back here real soon for another episode of Vlogmas tomorrow. Until then, bye!